We forgot to test the pot de cream from, uh, from French's Diner. Yes. So Brenda, oh. Dr. Okay. Anique, please try it. It's my favorite dessert in South Florida. I think hers too. Yes. And a lot of people from here at the Beach Channel love going there. It has all the, uh, the little vanilla um, Bits at the beans. bottom? Yeah. Wow. It's marvelous. And she makes a little homemade cookie. Oh, it's wonderful. Try it. Oh. Oh. Anyway, wonderful. Dr. Okay. Dr. Uh, Anique uh, Bryan is a family physician from Miami-Dade Cardiology Consultants. Uh, it's an HCA-affiliated practice, of course, right on Biscayne Boulevard uh, in Miami. And um, you're talking about gut health. What is gut health? Right. So gut health is exactly what it sounds. I mean, we, um, we eat, obviously. We eat food that's good for us. We eat food that's not so good for us. We eat food that has been processed. And it affects everything. So uh, gut health is a new field. It has to do with all this research about the gut microbiome. And a lot of people ask what that is. And essentially, we have this entire ecosystem going on inside of us that is responsible for our good health. Mm. We essentially have bacteria and viruses and fungus that actually help us live and help us live well. But when we eat food that's not good for us, or we eat food that's been treated with pesticides or have been affected by the environment, then that affects our intestinal health. And 90% of our immune system is in the lining of our intestine. Huh. And so 90% of your immune system yes. is in the lining of your stomach? Yes, So how do you your intestine. How do you improve it? Wow. Well, one of the things that we do in our practice is that we help detoxify. And I think we talked about this a little bit in our last segment. So we detoxify the gut. Um, we help the gut repair itself. The gut naturally repairs itself, and we add probiotics and other supplements to help replace the bad bacteria that have, that have happened over time with the good bacteria that we need hmm. to be healthy and to help us get the nutrients that we need in our and, body. And could you, do you lose weight with I mean, if, you, if you're healthier with your gut, were you going to lose weight or not? Absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, studies have shown that uh, some of the microorganisms yeah. that are in our body are directly related to insulin resistance, which and leads wait. to diabetes, okay. and obesity. <gasps> wow. Gluten insensitivity. Yes. I, I, I've never met so many people who are all of a sudden gluten, right, exactly. have a problem with gluten. Is, is it so true? Is becoming no? gluten insensitive? Yeah. yeah. Apparently not. Apparently studies have shown that in the last 50 years, the incidence of celiac disease, which is where gluten sensitivity comes from, hasn't increased at all. But what has changed in the last 50 years is our food and how oh. our food is processed okay. and the toxins and the pesticides and the hormones that are injected into our food. So because of that, it has affected our gut health. Yeah. Mainly so, in the United States. Mainly in the United States. Yeah, because as we travel here and there, you see them eating a lot of, uh, the French effect, as it was called. Right. They thought it was wine. From their village. And that's my story and I'm going to. <laughs> <it's similar. laughs> But it's probably a lot of the chicken that was grown down the street right. and the, the vegetable that was grown in the garden. Yes. And it's not the processed foods that we're eating. Correct. And the same happens in, in all the Mediterranean countries and probably most of the world. We, we just process everything we eat. Correct. So what do we do? Yeah, so what do we do to change? Improve. Well, I think that we can start eating cleaner, okay? Mm. And a lot of people ask, is organic really better? Um, well, you know, it's not 100%, but it's a start. Mm. Because if you eat food that is certified organic and is not treated with pesticides, then you're not allowing those chemicals into your body. It's not mm. damaging the bacteria okay. that are there. Right. And it gives your body a fighting chance. So not everything has to be bought organic. And when you come to our practice, we educate you on which foods are better eaten organic and which are okay to be eaten conventionally. And you can find Dr. Wow. Anique M. Yeah. Bryant. She's a family physician, Miami-Dade Cardiology Consultants. It's an HCA-affiliated uh, practice. They're right there at 3801 Biscayne Boulevard. If you Very remember, easy to get into. Yeah, it's they right off parking. 195. It's, it's, um, it's an easy place to get to. Yeah. They're open 9 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday, and a wonderful physician surrounded by other great cardiologists and other doctors that are there that are terrific. So, uh, again. And they keep their appointment times. They do. I like that about them, too. Which so is here's, here's what I'd like you to do. If you forget all this information, you're driving along thinking, this is what I need, email us. Or get to us through social media, and we will provide the information for Dr. Brian right. to you. Because I know how it is driving around in a car. You don't remember a phone number. Right. And if you do remember phone numbers, it's 305-571-0620. <laughs> okay? 305-571-0620. Do you have a, a website? 
www.micc.com. M-I-C-C.com. That's easy. Yeah. That should be easy to remember. But if not, get to Brenda and I, and yeah, we will pass the along the information for Dr. Anik Bryan. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to see you. I feel healthier already. I'm ready to go. I need a glass of wine, but I'm good to go. We'll come back with more. We have a wonderful chef who made this great dish for you. Next on Eat This Drink Back. Go.